24 hour flight's going to kill me. Have you bought a little present for Jenny? I did. Look, we can just look at this, Jenny. You can have this. I don't know whether you can see this, but I brought one of the bugs for you, which I think you're going to love. You're going to absolutely what love. What was that there one? He is. Look at that. Can you see him there? There you go. <laughs> go on, have a quick bite. <laughs> Prove us that it's edible. <laughs> Jenny's literally. <laughs> well, okay, I'll put it away. It's gone. I can't. See, when the show, when they eat those witch tea grubs, I actually have to leave the room because yeah. it. You can't bear it. Let's leave it. Bring on something beautiful. There you go. Look, let's get rid of the horrible things. Off Let's you go leave. then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, someone who knows all about jungle survival is, of course, last year's runner up, Marlene Class. Come on in. She's there. She's there. She's there. She's there. <laughs> it's a bit of a jungle challenge to get on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's flown by since last year. Oh, hasn't it? I'm insanely jealous. I can't believe it's been a year. I Were want to go back. Were you this excited before you went out there, though? I was sick with nerves. I was, I was really nervous because I didn't know what to expect and I didn't know how hot or how wet it was going to be. I didn't know what to expect at all, actually. See, but you got the long straw because you never had to do the eating the bugs. Well, I was just saying before, weren't we? I was yeah. saying that I was walking around the jungle going, oh, I don't mind eating the bugs. Great. I eat the bugs. Let's have a go then. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll save some for you. There's a locust. <laughs> You don't have, have a little to bite. Just say no, just say well, which no. One? Well, that's the locust, isn't it, Michael? Talk us through. Save us that one, then. I'll go for that one. Well, go, on, <laughs> go for it. You can have I'm it now. It's much more fun one. if you do it live. Because no, then the nation will go with my coffee. There you there go. There you go. How's that? What's all... that flavoured one? I don't know. It's quite spicy, actually, that one. That could be eating your juicy finger that you're tasting. So you would have been up for it, wouldn't you? Because every year the person that eats the bugs wins. I don't mind eating the bugs. It's the being covered in bugs. Oh, yeah, you did that. Because I think that somewhere around the world someone's going to eat that, so it's OK. Yeah, of course. So it's mind over matter. Well, yeah, but then what Matt Willis actually went through and eating the kangaroo... Nasty. He did really well. He did so well. And that's something that's haunted him ever since, because it's all anybody ever wants to talk about. <laughs> you do want to know what it, it tastes like, the, I suppose. The, the Would you have eaten that if they'd given you that to eat? I suppose, and for a penny. Wow. <laughs> you, have to, you have to do it, don't you, really? There you go, she's <laughs> a woman. <laughs> but it is true, the person that eats those things, wins like Carol Thatcher, um, Kerry Katona, Phil Tufnell, Matt Willis, they eat those, all of it. Have you seen the floor in the whole, whole format? Yeah, so, yeah. There's a little secret there, isn't so there? So you're going to be our, our correspondent this year, aren't you, for GMTV? I'm so excited. It's uh, great. And all that. So what, yeah. what are your top tips for all the guys that will be sitting at home? We don't know who they are just yet, unfortunately. No. Uh, watching and thinking, so how I've am I going to survive? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? That, that's, um. It does smell, actually. <laughs> Close it. Close what the it. tips? I think... Um, I think if you're going to go, just embrace it. It's such an incredible opportunity. It's the one time you get to turn your phone off. It's the one time <laughs> that you're just literally answering to yourself. Because think about it, during the rest of your life, you, you, you ring your mum, you ring your partner, you ring your manager, you ring your friends. Everyone's got their little tidbits of advice to give to you. But it's the one time you're like, what would I do in this situation? And it can be really, really liberating. Is that you why you away. had so many showers? <laughs> and I just want to say clear. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be doing that here. Michael will yeah. be our... Um, Australia That's right. and you'll be in here and um, yes. talking about it as well but in the meantime yes. you are busy anyway because you're doing yeah. Saturday Night Divas which yes. is out tomorrow night. I am yes so and that was pretty incredible. That's what you need. One of the divas in the jungle just sort perfect. them all out. Now surely working on a show like Saturday Night Divas you pick up some divas. Divas there were yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. had their entourage but they were lovely and it is true the bigger the diva the nicer they are. They were so professional really yeah. How really about lovely. the riders come on who what were the strange riders? I had? didn't hear anything like I said before about pink poodles or anything but I heard somebody say they wanted onions on their salad and they must be red and I was like red, red onions, onions on wow. your salad. Who is that? Who is that? I don't know. Oh I, yeah. I don't right. know. That was that wasn't Celine me. Dion wasn't it? Wasn't me. Celine Dion I've heard she likes an onion. Oh dear. But it is all good for, for a good cause as well. It's for a great cause. It, it um, Obviously, it's been Breast um, Cancer Awareness Month, but at the same time, the audience that came along, they were fundraisers, and it was their way of saying thank you. Yeah. But at the same time, it's it's celebration of the sisterhood. It was the divas just rocking the and place. And you got to and play piano with Shaka Khan. I played oh, the piano you? with Shaka Khan because I mean, you've got Soul Diva there, and then you've got New Diva, Leona Lewis, yeah. who was phenomenal. She literally brought the house down. You got Girls Aloud Diva, Pop Diva with multiples. Yeah. So it was fantastic, and I'm telling you, it's time to grab your hairbrush and sing into it on. Saturday they night. weren't just short of a pianist and they thought, Marnie, you can't sit in, can you? <laughs> you wouldn't just fill in. I hope not. No, <laughs> no. they gave me the call and I did my practice and it was my 15-year-old self would not have believed it. Brilliant. In fairness. Oh, awesome. Well, it has been a really great year for you and your mum as well. It's unbelievable. I'm a mummy. Oh, no. yes. Which is the best thing of all. That's I like. had a fringe cut to hide the circles. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I thought you could have a fringe cut because you got hold of it and pulled a load out. <laughs> no, 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 in fairness, it's been so good. Yeah, really, really good. Over. Best thing in the world. Well, it's lovely right. to see you. Good luck with the Good show, luck. which is on this weekend. Good luck to both of you in Australia. Yeah. Well, you in wow. Australia and you with the show and on the show. the early mornings. Well.
not Thanks exactly. very much. Okay, we've got to take a quick break right now, but stay tuned because in part three, we have David Bree performing. And Strictly Come Dancing is Alicia Dixon and Matthew Cutler chatting tactics for Saturday night show. That's all coming up after the break. Don't eat it. Stop.